Hey guys, it's Abdallah back again with another episode of Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi Battles. Before we get started, do your part and click on that like button. It definitely helps support the series, so thank you. Alright, so I've got a battle here against Chris, and we are doing in-game teams without any Megas, uh, because I took that off of the stream a while ago. Not bad. Alright, so he's got a Speed Boost Blaziken, and I said, what are you doing, man? That thing's way too powerful. Uh, he's got that, he's got a Dragonite, he's got a Charizard, and an Aegislash. My god. Don't forget Lapras and Chestnut, too. Those guys are going to be tough. I don't know how I'm going to get past Speed Boost Blaziken. And I understand that if you use that during your in-game team, then that's technically an in-game team, but... Dang! Alright, either way. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Leading off with Galvantula, busting out the Sticky Web. I had a choice to make. I know I could have one-shotted Dragon, or not Dragonite, uh, Charizard. I know I could have one-shotted him, but at the same time, I don't know what he was packing, you know? So in hindsight, I should have just gone for the Thunder, knocked him out, and then on the next turn, hit the Sticky Web. But I do it in the reverse order, and therefore, I get my Sticky Web up first, and now I start raining some Thunders. Yeah. Now, Chestnut is pretty bulky. And he's resistant to the electrical attacks, too, because of his grass typing. But, lucky for me, I get the para, the 30% paralyzation, which is awesome. Alright, so now I need to get out of there because my I'm down to 1 HP, so let's Volt Switch back out. And, let's go into Delphox to fully counter this guy. But, he uses Rock Slide. I don't know if he predicted Delphox coming in to counter him or what, but that was a very awesome move on his part. Uh, I get knocked down to about 18 health. I don't know how I survived it. Maybe natural bulk, maybe those random EVs that I put on it uh, through super training at the beginning of the game. But either way, now we're into Lapras over here. Since I am Specs, I decided to stay in a little bit just to see what it'll do. And plus, if I get the special attack drop, that'll be good for me because Lapras is typically only special attack. So, um, right now, I'm going to get out of here. And we are going to go into Sylveon, because I know that Sylveon can wall anything that's special attacking. Uh, Lapras goes for the Surf. It's not going to do that much, but still a decent little chunk. So now I get some free setup time. So I can do maybe one or two Calm Minds against this thing, and I'll be good to go. Um, although Lapras is pretty bulky, I'll need a couple Calm Minds underneath my belt in order to knock it out. But he decides to switch out into his Knight. Back into his... Um, Chestnut, I don't know, as Death Fodder or what, maybe he needs some switch initiative. Um, so he's foddering this guy out pretty much. So I Calm Mind on the switch, not bad. Um, all I need is literally one Moon Blast to knock him out, and I'll be good to go. So we are going to do that. We're going to knock him out with the Moon Blast, and that is one more poke down. Now I'm really debating on you know, putting the substitute move back on my Sylveon, because typically, uh, you know, sub call mind is a very nice combo. So I might do that a little bit later. I don't know if I'm using, um, uh, what is that, Psy Shock enough? But here we go. The match of the century. Anything against Aegislash. Now, I've got Shadow Ball, and I'm at plus one, but he is in his defense form, so he's going to be able to take that very easily. So, he busts out his sword stance, which is not good, because considering after one sword stance, he is through the roof. Um, now, he decides to go to King Shield. I'm not sure if he's trying to scout for something or what. But here we go. The Shadow Sneak of the Century. Bam, that's going to take me out so clean, because that's so strong. And Sylveon's defense isn't the greatest. So, oh man. That's right, that's what we thought. We thought it was going to knock us out, but... Lo and behold, we survived with 10. Go, Sylveon. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much threw in the towel right there, but I was very surprised that Sylveon somehow managed that. All right, well, now here we go. The Speed Boost plays again. What are we going to do against this guy? He does have Sticky Web, which definitely helps out, because now I'm able to hit him with the Psy Shock and cleanly take this guy out. What he should have done, I don't know if he had in his moveset, was use Protect. Um, use Protect for one turn, get his speed back up to where it should be, and then proceed to knock me out with whatever Flare, Blitz, or whatever move he got. Uh, speaking of Flare, he brings back his Charizard Ooh, for some more action. Busts out the Flamethrower against me just to knock me out. Not bad. I was kind of surprised that I didn't naturally outspeed it, considering I'm um, 
you know, maxed out in speed, but I don't know, probably base stats. Anyway, let's rain some thunders down on this guy, which I should have done on turn one. So we caught up with that. Done. Charizard is out. And here we go. Destruction. We haven't seen him yet, but this is the Dragonite. Now, I decide to stay in because, simply put, if I get a para on him, then that's great. If I break his multi-scale, that's even better. So he does his Dragon Dance, uh, which is awesome. You know, Dragon Dance, Dragonite is like the best Dragonite out there. So his speed is up one stage, but surprisingly enough, I outspeed him. But it didn't matter because I missed the thunder. I missed the thunder through compound eyes. How does that happen? Man, I was raging on the stream. <laughs> I'm like, what? You have compound eyes. You got so many different eyes. How do you miss that? Anyway, our good old revenge killer is back here with a head smash to finish off destruction with some destruction of his own. And that is the end of Dragonite. All right, all we have left is oh boy, which I'm aiming for another rock smash. Let's do it. Let's smash out everyone, because that's all we need. Nope, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, it's hit or miss with this guy. I missed plenty of them, but I'm gonna get taken out by the ice beam. Not good. But luckily, I've got the ace in a hole with the specs on. Right? Remember Delphox? Yep. Delphox is gonna come back with uh, the Grass Knot. Delphox learns Grass Knot, and that move is strong depending on how heavy your opponent is. So, Grass Knot, super effective against very heavy Lapras. Yeah, that's total KO. All right, that's going to be good game. Awesome job, Chris. I loved your team. Um, I love the Speed Boost Blaziken as much as I want him to go back to Ubers. Um, yeah. <laughs> Speed Boost Blades again. Age of Slash is very cool. Having a Lapras on your team because it was an in-game team, uh, no doubt, was very awesome. So that's the end of this exciting Wi-Fi battle, guys. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch it with me. Be sure to comment about what you enjoyed most about the battle in the comment section below. And if you didn't already, click on that like button to help support the series. While you're clicking away, hit that subscribe button as well to be updated on everything Pokemon Y. Are you guys interested in battling with me? If you are, I would love it if you guys would stop by my weekend live streams here on YouTube every Saturday and Sunday, 4 p.m. Central Time. I trade and battle with subscribers from the comment section, and we have a blast doing so. Until next time, I'll see you guys on the next episode.